Okay, so the Browns haven't just brought in one quarterback. Of course, a lot of the dialogue has been about the quarterback that they traded for. A good amount of the dialogue about the Browns has also been about the quarterback that they're moving on from. But there is another quarterback in that mix that is not Baker Mayfield, that is not Deshaun Watson, that might end up being important to the Browns season because he might be asked to play some games depending on what kind of suspension is lined up for Deshaun Watson um, this year. And that's Jacoby Brissett. Now, what we're going to look at today is what does Jacoby Brissett do well? What can you get away with with Jacoby Brissett? And what should you not expect with Jacoby Brissett? Because we get into this thing with quarterbacks sometimes that if we see them do one thing well, we start to assume that they can do everything well. Some quarterbacks can do one thing well. Some quarterbacks can do three things well. Some quarterbacks can do everything well. That's why it's such a difference in here. But not all quarterbacks can do it all well. So that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at some Jacoby Brissett tape. Um, This is going to be the game in week three versus the Las Vegas Raiders. And I wanted to show this game because I think it demonstrates a lot of things that he does well, right? One of the things that Jacoby Brissett does well is throw on the run. He's not a runner. He's a scrambler. There's a difference in that, right? A runner is somebody who is a legit threat to run. Like, if they have a design run play, it's a problem, right? Lamar Jackson is like that. Daniel Jones is like, I don't know why Daniel Jones is the second name to come out of my mouth, but Daniel Jones is like that. Um, you could say Marcus Mariota can be like that. Obviously, Kyler Murray is like that. You know, like there are guys in the NFL that if they get a direct run and they get any space, it's a problem, right? There are other guys who you really only worry about them running when it's a design, right? You know, those are your, well, not a design. It's like a scramble. It's out of pocket, out of structure. So like a Kyler Murray, not Kyler Murray, uh, Russell Wilson is somebody like that a Patrick Mahomes right not somebody you're going to think is going to keep it on the RPO and run um, but also somebody who could get a couple of yards Jacoby Brissett is a low level scrambler he's not a high level scrambler he's not like a medium level scrambler he's a low level scrambler it means he can scramble he can get a couple yards but it's about at the same level as a Baker Mayfield but he can do that Um, another thing Jacoby Brissett can do well is throw accurately on the run and one of the things I've noticed with Jacoby Brissett is poise he is incredibly poised now let's get into the tape and show you guys what I'm talking about all right so this is a play here where Jacoby Brissett gets the top of his drop has to break the pocket just a little bit, able to maintain and navigate all the chaos here. It makes a nice, accurate throw over the top. You see that right there? Now, didn't get completed, but it is a very nice, very accurate throw over the top. You see that ball is right there in that window. Will Fuller did not have to move much to have an opportunity to catch it. He just doesn't come down with it. That's not Jacoby's fault. Put the ball where it needed to be right in his chest. Uh, just, you know, Will Fuller, unfortunately, had a little bit of trouble coming down with it. But again, an accurate thrower on the run. We're going to see this. I don't know if this is the same play, but we're going to see another example of him throwing on the run, right? Steps up, running out. Yeah, this is the same play. And then gets this off platform, one foot, able to drop it right there, right? Could have been a better ball. Uh, could have been a better read, to be honest with you, right? I think that's the bigger problem is that, you know, he threw that right over the top into a safety. But as far as the ball placement goes, I think the ball placement was pretty accurate there. All right, now let's jump to another play. Jacoby Brissett here. He's going to step up, and, you know, he's going to be caught in trouble. Keeps the play alive with his feet. Again, notice he's not, like, super fast or anything, but keeps the play alive with his feet. Throws this thing on a run, and it's an accurate ball to Mike Gusecki. Again, Mike just doesn't come down with it. It's a tough catch. It's a tough catch. These are tough balls being thrown into tough windows, but manageable footballs being thrown at the end of the day, right? Um, And that's what you want to see. Now, this play right here is going to be, I think he runs on this one, right? Yeah, all right. So, Jacoby Brissett's going to run here. And this is what I mean by he's a scrambler, right? You see how this is not, obviously, it's not a design play. It's a design pass. You have all these guys down the field. And this is when Jacoby Brissett can scramble, right? You see there's no no spy, which you wouldn't want to spy in there if Jacoby Brissett's a quarterback. You got these guys down the field. You got this guy back turn chasing. You got this guy caught up with him, so he's going to be easy to block. You got this guy back turn chasing. So this is an opportunity where Jacoby Brissett can scramble and get about 10-plus yards 
but he's not necessarily a runner, right? He can move, he can scoot a little bit, but don't expect him to be a runner. We're not running RPO keepers with him, or at least we shouldn't run RPO keepers with him. Um, and I'll show you why you shouldn't do that in a second, right? Again, moves well. He's not immobile, right? But he's a scrambler. He's not a runner. I've seen people just assume that Jacoby Brissett is a runner for reasons. Um, he's not. He's not run first at all. He's a scrambler, right? If he sees a lane, he can take it. But he's not necessarily a guy you keep a spy in there for, right? Um, and this is what I mean by that, right? Because he he runs like a five flat 40. But, again, if you just empty it out, right, and don't pay attention to him, yeah, he's going to be able to outrun some defensive tackles. But he's not necessarily going to be Lamar Jackson out there. This is why you don't want to do design runs because they did a design run in the red zone with him right here. And look how this ends up, right? Oh, oh, no, nah, he he just can't do it, right? He's not that special of an athlete. Um, he's a big guy. He's mobile for a big guy. He can move a little bit, but he, he's not the dude you want there. Now, again, more of his strength, right? Breaking tackles with his size, throwing on a run. That's what you want to see Jacoby Brissett doing. So what does this mean for Jacoby Brissett? And his future with the Cleveland Browns, if that is his strength, right? Well, what it means is that Jacoby Brissett is going to be doing a lot of play action boots, a lot of rollouts, a lot of plays where he is being asked to move and get the ball out. Jacoby Brissett is what I, and I think Jake Burns has coined the term, so I'll give him credit here. He is a recreator. He is not a creator, but he's a recreator. So what does that mean? If the coach says, hey, if we get this look and this is what you see, this is what we'll do. And Jacoby Brissett can do that. If that's all you ask out of Jacoby Brissett. If you go out there and you put Jacoby Brissett in empty and you say, hey, man, this is the play, but we got to figure something out. Mm, mm, not where you want to be with Jacoby Brissett. He's going to fail you in that situation because that's not who he is. That's more of a Deshaun Watson thing that you want him to do. Um, but if you put Jacoby Brissett in a position to succeed, he is good enough to succeed. If you put him in a position to fail, he will fail, right? That is the case with Jacoby Brissett. Um, and that's why he is a backup. That's why he's a really good backup, right? Because not a lot of guys, if they're put in a position to succeed, can succeed, even starting level quarterbacks, right? Like on every level, I would say Baker Mayfield's probably a better quarterback than Jacoby Brissett. Like, but one of the things about Baker Mayfield that drives people crazy about him is that you can put Baker Mayfield in a position to succeed and he will make his life a little bit more difficult than he needs to. Jacoby's not going to do that, right? Jacoby's just going to take what they give him. He's not going to try to make too much out of anything. And sometimes that could drive you crazy as well, but it puts you in a position that he can't – He's if you put him in position to win, he will win. If you put him out of position to win, he won't. And that's what you want from a backup quarterback, right? We're going to continue looking at Jacoby Brissett here. All right, so I believe this is the final drive uh, of regulation, or one of the final drives in regulation uh, for the Dolphins. And this was just impressive to me. Um, this is – yeah, yeah. So this is in the fourth quarter, two minutes left. And I think this drive is impressive to me to show his poise because he messes up in this drive, but he keeps his poise. All right. So we're going to see here Jacob Brissett. He just, this is what, third and three, right? And he has his tight end here on this flat. And he takes too long to get back to it, right? He's going to come open on this flat. Again, the line's here. You get the ball here. He could potentially get out of bounds. You still got the two-minute warning because you're at two minutes and 32 seconds. So there's no reason, right, once you take a look and you see double bracket, double bracket, double bracket with all three of these options. So you peep that one, two, three, or however your progressions go. It's probably one, two, check. Knowing if it's Jacoby Brissett, it's probably one check, right? They're not doing like four or five progressions with him. So knowing that his eyes should have went, nope, nope, okay, here. Let me go here, throw this flat, get what they're giving me. Um, he came back to this flat way too late. You'll see his eyes um, as it played a video. So you're going to see him. He watches. 
And then he commits. He double commits to this, rolls out when he really shouldn't have. And again, that's where his strength kind of becomes his weakness, right? He is good throwing on the run, which means he's comfortable throwing on the run, which means sometimes when he's uncomfortable, he's going to try to throw on the run to get comfortable, um, which put him further out of the vision of being able to see the open man right here, um, which then put him in a situation where he could really only throw to half the field. And again, you got three defenders, well, no, four defenders, five defenders in coverage, two receivers. That's not a good situation, right? Now this is a point where you have to cross, throw cross hash. This dude's lurking. You could throw a pick six here. Again, if you just stay in the pocket, peep the reads, and then go to the flat, I think he would have been fine here. But, you know, it, it's a mistake. He makes a mistake here, right? So he misses the guy. He sees it. Damn, throw it out of bounds. Damn. You know what I mean? All right, so this play right here. Um, on third and three. Again, has 37 there. He sees it. You can tell he sees it. Uh, he throws it. Unfortunately, it's a bad throw, right? Bad throw. Bad throw. He 37 should have been able. I believe that's Miles Gaskin. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, but Gaskin should have been able to catch that ball, run out of bounds, and be all right. But Jacoby completely missed him. All right. And then. All of a sudden, now you're in fourth and three, and you get a false start. Just, just, just things are piling up on him, right? So at this point, if you're Jacoby Brissett, right, you have all the reason in the world to lose your poles. One, you're, you're poised, my bad. One, you're not the starting quarterback, right? So you're already worried about your job getting taken. Two, you messed up um, on that first play. Reasonable mess up, right? You, you missed the guy in the flat. Okay, cool. You came back on that second play on third down, had that first down right there, missed the throw for no reason. The miles gas can weren't even pressured. So now you have two of these plays that are on you. Then you finally get in a position where, hey, palm sweaty, I'm in that fourth and three. And then your offensive lineman jumps off sides. I mean, not off sides. He jumps early, false starts. So all of a sudden now you're in fourth and 13. You're down. You need eight points to tie the game to get to overtime. You now know how many opportunities you're going to get to start after this. You've already messed up a couple times. This is a moment where a lot of quarterbacks lose their cool, lose their poise. Let's see how Jacoby Brissett responds. Gets here. Does his drop, five-step drop, hits the top of it, just throws one. Just throws the best throw of the game, well, the best throw he's had all game. At that moment, continues to drive this team down the field here as you're going to see him get a clean look here and make a clean throw to get him closer down the field again. You know, it's a slant concept, nothing too crazy here. And then, boom, all of a sudden now you're in the red zone because of a penalty. You drop back, you scramble a little bit, you cut back inside, and boom, you get that touchdown. Again, good scrambler, good scrambler. But you need to get the two-point conversion, stay calm, stay poised, and what does he do? Stay calm, stay poised. That's what I like to see. That's that's rare out of a backup quarterback, right? Now, again, he's limited in other things, which is why he's not a starter, right? And why you don't want to have Jacoby Brissett out there for 16 or 17 games. But this is why you could get away with him for six or eight games, right? Because if he's calm, if he's poised, that means he won't make the massive mistakes in big moments that cost you wins in the NFL, right? How was Big Ben so terrible last year? But the Ravens, well, not the Ravens, the Steelers were still able to make the playoffs. Why? Because when it mattered, when the game was close, no matter how much Ben contributed to the game being close, he was able to make the plays in clutch moments, right? Um, and that was enough to put them over the top. You could look at the Steelers' point differential. They weren't that good of a team last year, but they got the points that matter. Same thing with Jacoby Reset. Look, your defense is going to be good enough um, if you have to be out there and Watson is suspended or if Watson gets injured. That The game might be close. What you can't do is make the mistakes. So if you play mis – well, if you play a make – as many good decisions as you can and you don't make the giant mistakes that cost points, you can win with that, right? If you can make some of the plays that you need to make at the end of the game, no matter how little you've been coming up uh, with clutch moments during the game, you can live with that. And that's what Jacoby Brissett gives you, a skill set that you can live with, right? He can recreate some concepts. He can come out there, throw on the run pretty well, which is what you need from a guy in this system. Um, and then, you know, he's poised enough to where the moment won't be too big for him. Now let's look at how he did in overtime. 
is I think he did some other interesting things here too. All right, so this is a fourth and 20 in overtime. Just steps back. Tough situation. Throws on a run. Keeps his poise. Makes the play. Beautiful. Beautiful football right there. On the run. Again, fourth and 20. Look at that. Pressure situation. They get to him. He does not panic, right? A lot of quarterbacks panic. Jacoby Brissett does not panic, right? He's not the most talented guy in the world, but he does not panic, and that's something that you really like to see out of him, right? Just stays calm, man. Plays football. Boom. Throws on the run. Good play. Good play. Huge play. Massive play. Puts them in a position to win this football game, quite frankly, right? Um, and, and that's really, I think, Jacoby Brissett's biggest strength is, is his poise. I think his other biggest strength is his size, um, and his ability to just continue to stay in the pocket and be tough. And I think he brings a lot of that to the table for the Cleveland Browns. Um, if you look at how he finished this game off, um, he, he gave him a legit chance to win at the end of this, right? You look at this play, this is the last, I think, pass of overtime because, well, at least for Jacoby Brissett because they had to get the ball to uh, the Raiders after this. But you look at this, play action, stays calm, rips it over top, has Will Fuller, good ball, just doesn't catch it. Just doesn't catch it, right? Sometimes that can happen with Will Fuller. Um, but, again, man, just stays calm. And legit, almost won this game right here. Got hit. Good enough football to get caught right here. Um, just goes right through his hands. Just didn't get lucky enough. Hey. So that's Jacoby Brissett. What is Jacoby Brissett? Jacoby Brissett is a poised quarterback. Jacoby Brissett is a quarterback who could throw on a run. Jacoby Brissett's a mobile enough quarterback to not uh, be a statue, but he's not necessarily a dynamic threat with his legs, right? Um, he's limited in some aspects. He's not going to be a guy who's going to make five. Or, he's not going to get all the way down his progressions all the time. He's not that kind of quarterback. Um, but what he is is a guy who, if you put in a situation to succeed, he will not sabotage himself. Um, if you don't put him in a situation to succeed, He's not going to overcome it and, like, be this great quarterback. Like, that's just not who Jacoby Brissett is. If he was, he would be a starter somewhere. Um, but if you put him in position to succeed, he will. And a lot of quarterbacks who are a lot more talented, who are technically better quarterbacks than Jacoby Brissett, will be in position to succeed and sabotage themselves. We've seen it here in Cleveland. Um, but that's what he brings to the table. He's poised enough to where he won't sabotage himself and won't hurt himself more than he needs to or more than what is reasonable for a quarterback to, right? A quarterback's always going to put himself in some bad situations every once in a while. It's just that kind of a job. Um, but does he do it to a point to where he could come out that hole? And that's what I'm saying with Jacob Brissett. He's a poised quarterback. He's a limited quarterback. But he's a dude that if you have to throw out there for six games, you feel pretty comfortable about your chances to be 500 because you feel like he's going to be poised in the big moments and not make the big mistakes. Um, but that's my thoughts on Jacob Brissett, my little film breakdown of it. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. But again, guys, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day. Have a good night.